Victoria here from Bella Crafts and today I'm here to make with you Felix the Flamingo. Um, so you need to make sure that you guys get your painted t-shirts or aprons on. Mummies and daddies make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and let's get started. Okay so we've got everything here ready to make uh, Felix the Flamingo. Um, so just make sure that you've found this little piece here which is going to make our little beaks. There's that little one to look out for. And we might just want a little bit of sellotape to use with this one as well just to make sticking on his legs and his tail feathers just that little bit easier. So now we've got our bits of the ready we're just going to start off with our first bit which is going to be painting his beak. Um, his head and neck just here so we move these other bits out the way and we can get started with that bit so we just want some pink paint or you could do whatever color you would like um, and we're just going to start off painting this head piece just here so this one can start drying so we're going to paint like so and then the nice thing with this one is you can also turn Felix over and you can do some coloring and drawing on the back as well. So we're just going to paint all of that, make sure we've got all the little gaps. It's only a little bit so it won't take very long to paint and then we can start leaving it to dry. There we go, so we pop that one just out of the way and that's all the painting that we're doing on this one because if you have a little look um, it's actually all coloured and drawn. So we can find Felix's little legs and you can actually add some detail to this one just using a little felt tip pen. You could paint them as well, I suppose, if you wanted to, but we just thought we'd do something a little bit different. So we are just adding some little spots all over Felix's legs. And you could do stripes, you could do squiggles, you don't have to do the same as us. You can do whatever you want to on here. So I might do spots just this far up and then I might do some squiggly bits down here. It's going to make him look like he's got hairy legs. <laughs> there we go. And then we, when we get right to the end here, to give him his little feet, I'm just going to colour this bit all in. There we go. And then we can just do the same with the other leg. There we go, so that is our legs all finished. So we've got our legs finished over here. We've got our headpiece just drying here. So we can take our tummy piece next and we're gonna do a little bit of decorating on the back of this one. So I'm just gonna turn it over. Oh, I see Craig the crocodile has been busy getting this one painted as well. And then we can just do some little patterns on the back. So I'm just doing some swirls but you guys can do whatever you want to do. You can use different coloured pens as well. So I'm just going to do some swirls up here. And then I might just do a little line of little hearts. So, and then I'm going to do some little spots. A 
but you guys could do whatever drawing or squiggles you want to on the back of this one you could maybe try practice writing your name you could draw a little picture of the flamingo by the little lake that the flamingo is doing its feeding in we'll do some stripes next i think just some stripes the other way just to finish it off but you guys can really go to town and have lots of fun making the back of it look really sp sparkly and especially you, you could even use some of your sequins and glue some of your sequins on the back here as well it's completely up to you but go to town so once you finish doing the back we can then have a little look at doing some on the front and you can see with our little uh, flamingo here we've actually coloured in the edges of our felt heart so this one's going to make the body so we're just going to do a little bit of colouring just on the edges here just to kind of shade the edge because this is a bit like our flamingo's wings this bit so we're just going to make it stand out just by doing a little bit of colouring just around the edges here you can also paint this little felt piece so if you'd prefer to paint rather than colour with a felt tip pen you can do that as well There we go. Right, so just got a little bit of shade on there. So now we can start popping all of our little bits together, ready to make Felix the flamingo. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to do first. So the legs and the feathers need to be the first bits to go on, and we're going to stick these bits on here. And this is where your sellotape might come in handy if you have some. So I'm going to lay the feathers down um, where I want them. So I want them to make nice tail feathers coming off in that direction. So I'm just going to lay them there. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of sellotape over the top. Don't worry, you won't see this. So I'm just going to pop that one on there. And then with the legs, what we've actually done with our little Felix here is we've bent one of the legs. So we're just going to bend it just in the middle here. And then to make his feet kind of look a bit more feet-like, we've just bent it just at the top of where we started doing the colouring in down there. So we could just bend that one there. And we can do the same with the other one. So I'm not going to do the bend in the middle because we want this one to be straight. But I'm just going to bend the little foot there. And then we're going to lay that one on top, just where we've stuck on our feathers. And we can use another little piece of sellotape just to stick these ones in place. So I'm just going to stick this bit of sellotape on there, like so. There we go, so we've got the legs on our little flamingo. And then the next piece that we can stick on is going to be the little wing pieces to go in the middle. So that's just going to go on here like this. So we do just want our glue for this one. So if you use your usual PVA glue. And we're just going to turn over our little heart piece and we're going to do our glue on the back of here. And you do want quite a lot of glue um, just because this one is going to take a little bit more just to stick it on than our kind of papery bits. So I'm just going to do some glue right the way round and I'm going to put some in the middle as well because we are going to go over our little legs. Okay. Now to make this a little bit easier to stick on you can also if you just squash the top of your legs just with your thumb give it a good squash and then that should make them a little bit flatter and a bit easier for this one to stick on. So we're going to pop that one on top like so there we go starting to look like a flamingo and then we've got our little headpiece just to go on as well so we're just going to pop our glue down on the bottom part of the neck so if you just glue this bit down here like so and then we can stick that one on there like that Right, so we're starting to look flamingo -y. So we give our little flamingo Felix an eye. Felix can have some eyelashes today, I think. 
we can go on there like that and then oh here's my little beak piece it's gone under his tail feathers we're just going to stick this one just at the top over here so we just put some glue on here and just stick this one on the back there so we're just going to pop it underneath there we go there's our little flamingo now if you want to you can also add some more sparkles on here so i'm just going to do a couple of little sparkles just in the middle and just on the little tail feathers over here just because i love my sparkle There we go, and I think that is our little Felix the Flamingo all finished. So thank you so much for joining us for this video guys, and we shall see you at the next one. Thanks, bye!